Good evening, everyone. So today we have two excellent doctors with us, Dr. Shravya and Dr. Ashish Yadav, who will be talking today regarding how homeopathy can help in pregnancy during the pregnancy and uh, how we can think of the remedies, right remedies actually. And we, it's very essential for a homeopath to know that what medicine has to be prescribed in these conditions. So today we'll have a very short, I think it's just a one hour session and we will discuss what all medicines you can think of in these type of conditions in pregnancy. Generally, we have so many medicines, but which medicine actually helps and what, how you can differentiate with other medicine that is very important. So today we will learn about that and we see. Thank you everyone for joining today. <coughs> Good evening, everyone. This is Dr. Shravya. Today, we are going to discuss about a guide to midwifery. Before that, I would like to thank Dr. Jitesh Sharma sir for giving us this opportunity and encouraging us to take up this session. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us. First of all, thank you to our master and guru, Dr. Jitesh Sharma sir, for giving this opportunity. And thanks to sir for giving this much knowledge to us. Let's start our today's session. So our topic is about <clears throat> guide to midwifery through homeopathy. How can we treat the, in such cases, patients? Mani. Ek To begin with, we are going to discuss about mental disturbances during pregnancy. Uh, here, we, we, th we can think of sepia and phosphorus. In sepia, there is indifference to husband, children, loved ones. Patient loses interest in what she ordinarily loves. She's very depressed, hates and weeps with sympathy, only wants to get away and be quiet. Relief of many symptoms from eating. Sepia patients are very indifferent and they uh, doesn't like sympathy uh, like natramure. 
uh, in phosphorus it also has indifference like sepia but it loves sympathy touch and massage which is exactly opposite to sepia anxiety for others fear alone in the dark of burglars ghost fear of thunder desire for salt for ice for cold water in phosphorus uh, there is craving for cold water or cold drinks so sepia is more about indifferent matlab jo lady rahegi a patient she is more indifferent then phosphorus or uh, more confirmatory symptoms for sepia sepia uh, she uh, sepia loves bathing and uh, all uh, sepia is aggravation from hot milk all complaints are aggravated by hot milk now pulsatella in pulsatella pulsatella is easily weeping changeable mood craves sympathy yet changeable irritable jealous suspicious weeping telling her symptom uh, pulsatella weeps while while telling her symptom when nursing burst into tears pulsatella pulsatella has often correct mal position and converted uh, difficult delivery to easy de- deliveries has connect correct inertia of ure- uterus it is it is a great remedy for mild and tearful women uh pulse uh, more uh, confirmatory symptoms about pulse pulse likes open air uh, feels good when hug or kiss uh, or jo patient rehti hai pulsatella ki jo pulsatella women rehti hai unko colorful dresses pasand rehti hai she likes to wear uh, matlab flowers yeah. flowers yeah. textures she likes to be answers here. by nodding head or is pulsatilla 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 patients they answer by uh, nodding heads uh, they are mild they are weeping uh, while answering questions ignatia amara the remedy of contradictions of craving for foods that should be harmful but prove helpful A great remedy of nerves of hysteria, sensation of lump in throat when not swallowing, nervous spasms of throat gullet, unable to swallow liquids or solids, especially during grief, full of contradictions and surprises. This is a remedy remedy of grief, bereavement with frequent sighing. Ah, uh, ignatia. One of the confirmatory symptom is ah uh, sighing, and there is ah uh, intolerance to tobacco in any form. Give it for the colic of infants who. who are breastfed whose mothers are suffering from grief like ignatia is very much marked for grief uh, ailments from grief in ignatia ignatia is all about contradictions matlab har cheez mein kuch na kuch to wo contradictions rahega ignatia all complaints are aggravated by uh, cigarette smoke uh, because because wo itne depression mein rehti hai ki matlab uska mind ko oxygen level pahunch hi nahi pata hai तो इसलिए वो साइंग भी करती है ओरम मेट ओरम मेट ओरम मेट लुक्स ऑलवेट ऑलवेज डार्क साइड मतलब हर बार नेगेटिव साइड को देखेगा वो डीपेस्ट डिप्रेशन लॉन्ग फॉर डेथ फॉर डेथ इवन सुसाइडल और इवन और सिफ्लेटिक रेमेडी है तो सुसाइडल थॉट्स बहुत मार्क सिम्टम है इसका मॉन्स इन स्लीप फ्राइटफुल ड्रीम्स स्लीपलेस टॉजिंग अबाउट फॉर एम स्लीपलेसनेस uh sleeplessness during pregnancy we can think of aconite belladonna and ignatia in aconite there is sleeplessness due to fear and excitement there is they tosses in anxiety agony anxiety and worry with trivial complaints there is restlessness uh they are disquiet skin dry and hot in belladonna there is congestion head is hot and painful pupils dilated rush of blood to head and face there is twitching in sleep especially in children with red hot face and bright eyes in ignatia there is sleeplessness from grief as we told before there is all ailments come from grief chronic grief and there is sadness anxious thoughts depressing emotions coffee cruda uh, coffee sleeplessness from crowding of throat thoughts itte thoughts chalenge ki bilkul matlab neend sleeplessness ho jayega 
फुल ऑफ आइडिया क्विक टू एक्ट नो स्लीप ऑन दिस अकाउंट और Uh, ailments from uh, over joy excessive joy they get complaints from sudden surprises or excessive joy coffee get ele element from surprises mm -hmm. sleepless from joy and coffee all pain are insupport insupportable drive to dis drive her to despair nux vomica in nux vomica there are sleeplessness due to stimulants ya yeah, to excessive wine or ya yeah, excessive coffee any type of stimulant Uh, sleepy in the evening, wake at midnight or three a.m. Only sleeps heavily towards morning. Not so much. Or in lycopodium, there is always digestive problem. Because of digestive problem, there is a sleeplessness. Sleeplessness at night or sleep Recording. sleepy at daytime. Recording. Or uh, lycopodium loves to eat sweets which are warm. मतलब जैसे गुलाब जामुन हो गया, खीर हो गई ये सब lycopodium को पसंद रहता है. Effects of fright. Ken says, woman is natural econite patient with her sympathetic nature. With women, fear is common cause of inflammation of uterus and ovaries. Fear will often cause threat and abortion. Econite has fear of death, and they also predict time of death. And in arsenic album, which is less acute than econite, which is a big storm soon over, arsenic is an enduring and recurrent torment. Our patient is very particular and very fastidious. They are restless and anxious. They are chilly. Has thirst for frequent sips of cold water. Ah, uh, they fear alone, death, suffocation at night, of knives, fear of killing, of suicide, fear for others. Their marked periodicity periodicity varies at one a.m. and one p.m. Argentum nitricum. Argentum nitricum most fear have narrowing places. इनको मतलब narrowing चीज प्लेसेस का बहुत डर रहता है फियर एंड हरी फियर ऑफ एंटिसिपेशन ऑफ हाई प्लेसेस क्यूरियस अनरीजनिंग फियर दैट वॉल आर क्लोजिंग इन दैट हाउस वुड फॉल ऑन हर पेशेंट फील्स द हीट क्रेप स्वीट्स एंड साल्ट अर्जेंटम नाइटिक क्रेविंग ऑफ स्वीट्स एंड साल्ट इन इग्नेशिया एनजाइटी स्लीपलेसनेस डिस्पेयर अनयूजल टेंडेंसी टू फ्राइटेड Fear that she will never sleep again in Indonesia. Wake at midnight with fear of robber, robbers. Uh, arsenic may be reta fear of robbers. Opium complaints from fear and fear remains. Opium is hot and has hot sweats. May be comatose as excessive wakefulness. Opium. Ah, uh, there is extra vagans of fear in opium. There is chronic fear which ah uh, doesn't resolve. So in that cases we can think of opium. Phosphorus. There is indifference, fear of thunder, of disease in twilight, alone in dark, of something creeping out of every corner. They fears that something will creep out from every corner. There uh, a horrible face looking out of every corner. Uh, and in pulsatilla, they are suspicious, disturbed, very easily frightened. Uh, there is diarrhea from fright, hot inside, and they feel actually. And fears alone in the dark of meeting people. They are tearful, changeable, irritable, suspicious. But they crave sympathy. Pulsatilla. They love sympathy, and uh, when they love consolation, uh, they are jealous, and they are not hungry, not thirsty, or constipated. So our next point is lying on abdomen in early pregnancy. During our early months, if the patient wants to lie on abdomen, then the drugs are acetic acid and podophyllum. So in acetic acid, there will be a nausea of pregnant nausea during pregnancy or patient is anemic. Pain is better by lying on abdomen in acetic acid in podo. Podo is will be indicated in hemorrhoids with prolapse during pregnancy. Prolapse from overlifting or straining during pregnancy, or uh, there are Not also two more remedy for. Hemorrhoids during pregnancy are colonsonia and muriatic acid. You can also think of this medicine. Acne, acne during pregnancy. The drugs indicated are belladonna and sepia. In belladonna, there is congestion, red or bluish red heart acne. In sepia, there is acne rosacea, yellow blotches, and saddle-like brown discoloration. Backache during pregnancy. Drugs are aciculus and calicab. In aciculus, back affecting sacrum and hip worse by walking or stooping. Calicab, ah, uh, calicab. Small of back feels like very weak. 
stiffness and paralytic feeling in back severe back ache during pregnancy and miscarriage bilious complications uh, we can think of chalidonium in chalidonium there is jaundiced skin and constant pain in the inferior angle of right scapula these are the indications for chalidonium here we can also think about dolicos uh, jaundice along with uh, eruptions without itching without itching. eruptions uh, we can think of uh, dolicos in the dolicos there is a eruption with itching or jaundice without eruptions सॉरी विदाउट इरप्शन मतलब इचिंग ज्यादा रहेगी इरप्शन नहीं रहेंगे विद जॉइंडिस प्रेगनेंसी के दौरान अगर बिलियस कंप्लेन है विद चेलिडोनियम अपन डोलिकस को भी सोच सकते हैं पेनफुल पेनफुल ब्रेस्ट ड्यूरिंग प्रेगनेंसी बेलाडोना ब्रेस्ट आर रेड हॉट टेंडर एंड हाई फीवर ब्रायोनिया एवरी मूवमेंट बाय एवरी मूवमेंट पेन इज एग्रावेटेड बाय एवरी मोशन और मूवमेंट or there is a stitching type of pain complaint appear to develop rather slowly toothache during pregnancy we can think of macab and nux vomica in macab there is toothache of pregnant women aggravated at night and they compels the patient to get up and walk about this is very marked in macab and in nux vomica toothache in cross and morose women uh, in nux vomica we can also see morning sickness there is retching vomiting that predominates constipation of pregnancy cpia in 200 potency helps if this fails give opium mm -hmm. hemorrhoids hemorrhoids uh in hemorrhoids during pregnancy uh, the top most remedy we can think of is collinsonia with most obstinate constipation with protruding hemorrhoids painful bleeding piles there is sensation of sharp sticks in rectum sense of constriction in podophyllum internal and external piles with prolapse of rectum before or with stool there is hemorrhoids with during pregnancy with prolapse and in sulfur hemorrhoids which are oozing and bleeding there will be marked itching and we can also see burning in hemorrhoids in sulfur sulfur mein matlab itching aur burning zyada rahegi as compared to podo and collinsonia aur stool pass karne ke baad sulfur mein zyada der tak uh, burning aur पेन बना रहता है प्रोराइटस वल्वे इन एम्ब्राग्रीशिया निम्फोमेनिया विद निम्फोमेनिया इचिंग ऑफ प्यूडेंडम विद सोर्नेस एंड स्वेलिंग ब्लूइश लुकोरिया सो टेल मी द रेमेडी इन चेट बुक्स विच हैविंग ग्रीन मैंसेस ग्रीन मैंसेस ग्रीन मैंसेस कैलेडियम प्रोराइटिस वल्वे एंड वेजाइन टेल मी द रेमेडी विच हैविंग ग्रीन मैंसेस एनी वन नो मेडो मेडो तो आंसर इज मेडो और कैलेडियम प्रोराइटिस वल्वे एंड वेज ईचिंग इन वेजाइना ड्यूरिंग वेलेप्टस ईचिंग इसमें वेलेप्टस ईचिंग रहती है ड्यूरिंग प्रेगनेंसी क्रैम्पिंग पेन इन यूट्रेस एट नाइट कोलनसोनिया प्रोराइटिस एसोसिएटेड विद ब्लीडिंग पाइल्स एकोनाइट इन एकोनाइट प्रोराइटिस is relieved by stone land in sepia uh, you can see yellow greenish leucorrhea with which much itching is present pelvic or organs are relaxed there is great bearing down must cross limbs to prevent prolapse we can see this in lilium tig also in murex also and in creoso there is corrosive itching in in valve there is burning and swelling of labia violent itching between labia and thigh yellow acrid leucorrhea in creoso the leucorrhea is very watery thin running down the heel and ichthyolum uh, we can think of in pruritis of pregnancy and ichthyolum is very strong anti parasitic 
galactoria so what is galact galactoria is a milk like discharge of fluid from breast nipples a discharge like this is called galactoria unless pregnant or breastfeeding galactoria usually occur when the body produce too much prolactin so lact uh, lactation the problem of lactation can be grouped under the following three groups scanty secretion milk or low grade milk of low grade milk which is poisonous to the child a little of belladonna phytolaca pulsatilla can establish free flow of healthy and nourishing milk calcarea carb lac dev are the medicine which can improve the quality of milk net uh, natrum carb and silicia are the medicine for changing of milk from poison to food uh, here we want to add a uh, lecithinum uh, we can give in 3x mm. potency which can which is a very excellent galactologue and it increases the nourishment of the uh, quality of milk and um, we can think of resinous communis in low potency it can establish the flow of milk and in high potency it can dry up the milk लेसिथिनम अपन वहां सोच सकते हैं जहां पे मतलब मदर को सी सेक्शन डिलीवरी हुई है और मदर एनेमिक है और उसको मतलब उतना मतलब उतना फ्लो नहीं आ रहा मिल का तो देन वी कैन थिंक ऑफ लेसिथिनम रेमेडीज यूजफुल इन लैक्टेशन कैन बी बेलाडोना इन बेलाडोना टू कॉपियस फ्लो ऑफ मिल्क इन्फ्लेमेशन ऑफ ब्रेस्ट इन स्ट्रीक्स और रेस डाइवर्जिंग फ्रॉम सेंटर टू सरकमफ्रेंस ब्रेस्ट इज रेड हॉट स्वेलन एंड वेरी पेनफुल वेरी टेंडर एंड इट्स टोनी हार्ट एरिसिपलस इन्फ्लेमेशन ऑफ ब्रेस्ट स्पेशली फ्रॉम वीनिंग एंड फेस इज फ्लस्ट प्यूपल्स डायलेटेड स्किन हॉट एंड ड्राई पर हैप्स ट्विचिंग और इवन डेलीरियम फाइटोलेकाटोलेकाटोलेकाटोलेकाटोलेकाटोलेकाटोलेकाटोलेकाटोलेकाटोलेकाटोलेकाटोलेकाटोलेकाटोलेकाटोलेकाटोलेकाट
phases of menstrual cycle so in menstrual cycle there is follicular phase and luteal phase in follicular phase we can see proliferation then ovulation around 13th day and then luteal phase there is secretory phase so in proliferatory phase uh, estrogen rises in order to release the egg and then ovulation occurs uh, uh, during uh, before the ovulation only estrogen rises and then in luteal phase pro progesterone is highest in the luteal phase um, hormones of menstrual cycle are follicular stimulating hormone luteinizing hormone estrogen and progesterone so uh, luteinizing hormone surge occurs 36 hours prior to ovulation and progesterone peak occurs one week before ovulation diagnosis of pregnancy in first three months symptoms sign urinary test or immunological Pregnancy test, hormone withdrawal, bleeding test. Symptoms are amenorrhea, morning sickness, breast change, frequency of micturation are increased, constipation, signs breast change in breast, uterus per abdomen, examinations, Hager sign. So what is Hager? It is important sign. It is necessary to abdomen wall to quite relax so that the whole of the uterus can be palpated between the abdominal hand and the two finger in vaginas. Hyperemesis gravidarum. Uh, it is an excessive vomiting of pregnancy commonly occurring during early months. A small proportion of primary gravida develop the condition which may recur in subsequent pregnancies. Uh, symptoms could be vomiting, the stomach contents are usually bile colored and there is progressive emaciation, constipation, oliguria, dehydration and um, there might be restlessness, sleeplessness, diplopia, dimness of vision. Homeopathic management could hmm. epicac. Uh, indications are clean tongue and no thirst. In the very large percentage of cases, when the vomiting tendency starts, a few doses of epicac can completely control it. Uh, so, like at first, we can think of epicac. Uh, it has that power to con completely con control this uh, hyperemesis and symphoricarpus racemosa re it is highly recommended for persistent vomiting of pregnancy there is deathly nausea and vomiting fecal appetite nausea and water brush with bitter taste presence of constipation are the main indications nausea worse by motion and patient is averse of taking food and is better by lying on back so nausea, which is worse by motion and they are better by lying on back. If symphoricarpus fails in this condition, we can think of mancinella too. So there are more remedies which can we think here are sorinum or lactic acid and one more. Thyroidinum, Thyroidinum. Cocculus also we can think of. They having good result in? Hyperemesis, gravidarum we can think of. See, but it is another drug in which the nausea is better by eating. Nausea the smell of side of food and worse while lying on side. So, CPI having the nauseatic feeling when side of food. Even arsenic and colgicum also has this nausea, smell and side of food. Sericum oxalicum. Nausea and vomiting of pregnancy. There is a vomiting of half digested food in sericum. Serium. Serium. Hmm. Carbolic acid, vomiting of pregnancy in women who have the who have the at the same time paranetic headache are irritable. Vomiting is dark olive green arsenic. It is indicated in case where there is a great anxiety and restlessness. There is a prostration, prostration of the whole proportion to the duration of illness. The patient cannot be at the side of food as also as also a small a smell of food. There is a great thirst. Drink. Little at a time, nausea, rattling, vomiting after eating or drinking, and the patient complain of burning in the stomach. In arsenic, there is a marked burning. Caladium, caladium. Nausea, especially in the morning or rising. Acid eructation, frequent eructation in of very little wind, as if stomach were full of dry food. It will be useful in the cases which complain of pruritus, uh, pruritus vagina during pregnancy. Phosphorus. 
this is usual in cases where there is a great desire for cold drinks, cold water, and the patient craves ice, and the water is vomited as soon as it gets warm in the stomach. The patient fears in twilight alone or when in dark. Uh, they have fear of thunder or of diseases, misfortune of death. They fear something creeping out of every corner and has much vertigo. Abortion. These are types of abortions. They are threatened, inevitable abortion, complete abortion, incomplete abortion, cervical abortion, missed abortion, septic abortion, therapeutic or legal abortion, criminal abortion and habitual abortions. And homeopathy homeopathic management for abortion aconite fear restlessness thirst dry skin anxiety and fear of death threatened abortion caused by fright in ectaer asomasa threatened abortion in the third month pain shoot upward and down interior surface of thigh in sepia there is a threatened abortion about the fifth month or seven month in zincumment there is a tendency of miscarriage and sensitive of genitals genitalia Sabina threatened abortion in the early half of pregnancy, pain from sacrum to pubis. We can think of Sabina. See Kelkor. Threatened abortion in later half of pregnancy and also at third month, prolonged bearing down, forcing pains. In Vibunam opulus, threatened abortion with crampy, colky pain in women who habitually miscarry at a certain period of pregnancy. In such cases, Vibunam opulus should be given for some time before. And in earning it has to be given when the abortion is due to an accident. Chamomile, chamomile we can think of uh, where there is threatened abortion occurring from emotional disturbances. Inevitable abortion. Uh, in inevitable abortion is uh, that we cannot prevent this abortion. Uh, so there may be abdominal, severe abdominal or pain and colicky pains. There is vaginal bleeding of frank blood. And in these cases, homeopathic management, Sabina. Labor like pain from sacrum to pubis and below, upward shooting up vagina. It promotes expulsion of moles from uterus. It is also useful for inflammation of ovaries, uterus after abortion. Abortion at the third month. In Sabina, there is abortion at the third month. Vibrunum opulus. Colic pain in pelvic organ. Colic pain in pelvic organ is the marked symptom of vibulus. Frequent and very early miscarriage during seeming sterility. Pain from back to loins and womb. Worse early morning. Pain is worse in early morning. Colophyllum is indicated in habitual abortion. Severe pain which fly in all direction from you. Uh, it is indicated in habitual abortion from uterine diability. Needle like pain in cervix. Ectopic pregnancy. It means pregnancy occurring outside the normal uterine cavity. Here you can see this is normal pregnancy and ectopic pregnancy. You can see it in uh, like tubes, most common site. Types of ectopic pregnancy can be tubal, ovarian, angular and conual and primary abdominal. In tubal, mostly we, uh, most it can occur at ampulla, isthmus, infundibulum, and interstitial. Most of the ectopic pregnancy are tubal pregnancies and ovarian pregnancies are rare. Angular pregnancy, a pregnancy occurring at the uterine opening of the tube and in conual pregnancy, rudimentary horn of the uterus becomes the site of pregnancy. Primary abdominal pregnancy is very rare on the broad ligament. Primary gravida. Uh, primary gravida mean that means that the first pregnancy in a woman and in a young woman it does not cause any problems but if it occurs in women, pregnancy occurs in women over an age of 35 years we call them elderly primary gravida and they may produce many problems and hazards hazards of elderly primary gravida uh, there can be maternal mortality and morbidity, perin perinatal mortality is higher. We can also see incidence of abortions, hyperemesis gravidarum, and uh, there may be heart diseases, diabetes mellitus, and incidence of uterine fibroids also increases in elderly primary gravida. And during labor also premature delivery or prolonged labor can occur. 
and fetal distress also increases. So there, there may be possible forceps delivery and cesarean sections. Hydramnios. Hydramnios. This is uh, this is the excess of liquor. I mean it. Amniotic. Amniotic to cause abnormality in the pregnancy or labor. As uh, labor as detected clinically at any age of pregnancy, excess means more than two liter or liquor ammoni. The incidence is about zero point five to one percent. Varieties acute hydramnios develop rapidly, uh, rapidly days and usually early week of pregnancy. Chronic hydramnios uh, occur slowly, develop in late pregnancy. Acute or chronic on chronic varieties sub acute. Hydatiform mole. Uh, hydatiform mole is an abnormal pregnancy where the degeneration of chorionic villi resulting in death of fetus and conversion of chorionic villi into a large number of vesicles varying in size from a small pea size to big size of a grape. They resemble hydated cyst. So hence the name hydatiform mole. Clinical features are amenorrhea for few months in present recurrent blood strain discharge or frank hemorrhage in common symptom pain in abdomen or there may be expulsion of grape like vesicles homeopathic management uh, about hmm. homeopathic management pain from sacrum to pubis and extend to thigh labor like pain it help in expulsion of mole canther is expels moles, dead fetus, membrane, etc. Hydratiform moles are with painful urination in cantharis, lacinating and tearing pain in coccyx in cantharis. CPR. We can think of CPR in the ambitious women who are trying to conceive but develop hydratiform moles. So confirmatory questions for sepia could be they love bathing. So we can ask how much time you take for uh, to bath and uh, like from where they, their body becomes cold, like the, in sepia, the hands and feet are, becomes very cold. So we can ask these questions. Chorion epithelioma. Chorion epithelioma is a malignant tumor arising from chorion, chorionic epithelium and uh, therefore always preceded by pregnancy ending in labor at term or abortion or hydatiform mole. And hydatiform mole has this specific tendency to develop into malignancy. Antipartum hemorrhage. It is defined as bleeding from genital tract after the 28th week of the pregnancy and before delivery. The various types are placenta previa, accidental hemorrhage, antipartum hemorrhage, pregnancy with extra placental cause of hemorrhage. Example cervical polyp, cervical carcinomas. Homeopathic management for antipartum hemorrhage. Belladonna and belladonna, there are right, bright red hot blood, feels like hot water. Coat clot easily and become red, uh, become dark red in belladonna. Congested hot face and head, full morning uh, pulse, burst from jar, light motion, noise. In epicarp, there is a bright red, profuse with heavy breathing, bright red blood with heavy breathing and nausea, with threatened abortion, persistent nausea, gushes with every attempt to vomit, gaps for breathing as if panting. No. Mm. Weak pulse. Phosphorus. Uh, there is bright, free, persistent bleeding which stops and starts. There is weakness, coldness and emptiness in abdomen which is sensitive. Small of back is as if broken. Heat running up back. And there is thirst for cold drinks, crave size. And in China, there is hemorrhages with fainting, loss of sight and ringing in ears. There is debility from loss of blood. And in pregnant, early pregnancy, when there is spotting, we can arrest this uh, spotting by giving Arnica in low potencies like Arnica 6. Placenta previa. This is a condition where placenta is implanted partially or completely in the lower segment of uterus. It is, it is lying in the path which fetus must take must take during delivery and is situated partially or wholly in the zone of dilatation during pregnancy. So we can see the vari variety of placenta previa, first grade, second grade. In four, last fourth grade, placenta completely covers the internal os. So we, you can see on screen normal placenta, low in implantation, partially placenta previa and total placenta previa. 
dangers of placenta previa uh, here uh, dangers can be seen in matter mother and fetus in mother there can be hemorrhage shock sepsis rupture of uterus and air embolism in fetus in fetus there can be prematurity asphyxia birth trauma and fetal malformations yeah. homeopathic management for placenta previa in belladonna it is indicated when there indicated when there is a flow of bright red hot blood with feeling of फ्लोइंग ऑफ हॉट वाटर मतलब ब्लड इतना गर्म रहेगा कि गर्म पानी बह रहा क्लोटिंग ऑफ ब्लड इजली एंड बिकम डार्क रेड कंजेस्टेड हॉट फेस एंड हेड फुल बॉन्डिंग प्लस पल्स वर्स फ्रॉम जार लाइट मोशन नॉइज फोर्स फोरस इट इज इंडिकेटेड वेन देर इज अ परसिस्टेंट ब्लीडिंग ऑफ ब्राइट रेड कलर विच स्टॉप एंड स्टार्ट वीकनेस विथ कोल्डनेस एंड एम्टीनेस इन एपडम विच इज सेंसिटिव Small of back is if broken, heat running up back. Thirsty for cold drinks, which are vomit as soon as they get hot in the stomach. Craving for ice in phosphorus. Preeclampsia toxemia. This is a syndrome specific of late pregnancy developing after twenty weeks, uh, which characterized by persistent high blood pressure at or above one forty by ninety. Uh, there can also be edema and albumin. albuminuria the case is diagnosed uh, from like symptoms and signs like uh, uh, there can be swelling so like hypertension and then this edema which is you can see here eclampsia in yes. uh, sorry mm -hmm. to interrupt um, we can think we can think of uh, thyroidinum in toxemia of pregnancy it is very good remedy for toxemia Eclampsia. This is con, con. Convulsive. This is convulsive. This is occur in the pre pregnant or. Parturient. Parturient or per per puerperal woman usually characterized by high high blood pressure, marked albuminuria, edema. Symptoms are headache, dizziness, dizziness, disturbance of vision, epigastric pain, convulsion and coma. Sometimes, ending fat. Fatally. Fatally. so homeopathic mm -hmm. management for this eclampsia is a piece uh, there is pain in kidney region frequent painful scanty bloody urine retention of urine a piece a uh, patients are thirstless there is dropsy and there is burning and stinging pains worse heat and warm room uh, there is sadness and weeping without cause they are joyless indifferent and suspicious and jealous and uh, in plumber med there is slow perception perception slow in answering and there is frequent vomiting of food violent colic in umbilical region navel seems to be drawn to spine there is constipation without urging and terrible pain urine is albuminous dark and scanty dripping drop by drop excessive hyperesthesia inclination to deceive and they plumber people they feign sickness to exaggerate their su sufferings in acid flows urine are uh, so thick that flow is inter interrupted as if the flow contain string jelly like masses in acid flows in acid flows pain in back and and kidney weak and indifferent and drowsy patient terebinthina violent burning drying pain in kidney dysuria strangury with loss of blood urine is scanty smoky bloody albuminous or profuse and black distension of abdomen with much flatus breastfeeding Her advantages of breastfeeding are like uh, mother's milk is best adapted to digestive capacities of children and uh, it is always uh, available and is perfect food and supplies all vitamins that are necessary uh, so it has higher lacto albumin content than the cow's milk so the curd formed in the stomach are fine as opposed to the large curds that is formed by cow's milk or artificial milk contraindications for uh, breastfeeding could be maternal causes uh, such as maternal open tuberculosis puerperal insanity and there can be any abscess anemia or epilepsy and severe fissures in the nipple or any nutritional disturbances and defects in children could be like premature baby who cannot suck and if there is any birth trauma or any congenital abnormalities like hair lip or cleft palate placental delivery can be done by fundal pressure method and contraction method retain placenta 
uh, for retained placenta, the homeopathic management could be Sabina. It is an excellent remedy for atony of uterus, which is main cause for retained placenta. Uh, like uh, there is atony of uterus and uh, Sabina helps in promote promotes uh, expulsion of moles from uterus indicated in ut uterine after pains. Pain, uh, pain is from sacrum to pubis and from below upwards. Arnika, it is a great remedy after delivery for relief and com comfort to avoid sepsis. Bruit soreness feeling. Bed feels too hard. Great remedy for bruits part. Uh, we okay. Arnica six, Arnica six. Give Arnica six C in potency if you want to give after delivery or arrest the bleeding for arrest. Prolonged labor. Labor may be prolonged on account of mal presentation or disturb like disproportion. So this uh, delays frequently uh, uh, due to abnormal uterine action. The first days of labor last for 48 hours or longer, which is very abnormal and classified as one of primary uterine inertia. Homeopathic indications uh, for this prolonged labor could be called, we can think of colophylum, which has that power of regulating the process of labor. And if this drug is given during the whole period of pregnancy in suitable doses, uh, the mother is saved from the trouble of forceps delivery, hours of suffering and prolonged labor with its increased danger for the child. So we can uh, give this colophylum during the pregnancy time. So we can uh, help in like... Um, Ease the delivery and avoid this prolonged labor. Pulsatil has often corrected malposition and converted difficult labor into easy delivery, and it has corrected one to expulsive power in pulsatilla. Pulsatilla patient weep because she is not deli delivered. It is great remedy for mild, tearful women, aversion to fat, meat, butter, pork, bread, milk, and other important symptoms. The patient desire for sour and Refreshing thing, pulsatilla. Kali cup, it is indicated by great back pain during labor, which is patient complains of during labor, wants to back pressed. Uh, labor pain are insufficient. In gels, there are uh, rigid, rigid os, false labor pain, which passes up back are present. The patient feels chilliness in the back and the pain extend to back and hips. Chamomilla. Spasmodic labor pains which press forward and patient is intolerable of pain. In chamomilla, pains are so severe that the patient would prefer drying, dying rather than suffer from pain. Ring, ring of bandel. It is a retraction ring. Uh, there is an excessive retraction of upper segment while the lower segment becomes extremely thin and a ring of furrow forms at the junction of two segments. This pathological ring we call as a bandel's ring. Uh, it occurs during the second stage of labor, especially in multigravida due to obstruction. And here you can see this constriction ring between these two segments. Fetal heart sounds. The fetal heart sounds can be heard about the 16th week of pregnancy and resembles the tickling of a watch heard through a pillow. This is the only sign of pregnancy which by itself and in the absence of other is perfectly. The one point of greatest insanity of fe intensity of the fetal heart sound will vary with the position of the child in utero. Ordinarily, the fetal heartbeat is 132. 150 times a minute there are certain condition where the fetal heart may not be easily audible uh, dr sp kopikar sir told that if you cannot find this fetal heart sounds you can administer sepia 1m uh, it can restore that fetal, fetal heart sounds heart sound. types of labor pains there there are true labor pains and false labor pains so true labor pains, uh, there is discomfort radiating from to the lower back and lower abdomen, there is uh, which is associated with effacement and dilatation. Uh, so in true labor pains, there is effacement and there is dilatation. Uh, they, these pains are increasingly intense and frequent. They are regular and effective. And false labor pains, there is uh, discomfort over the lower abdomen and groins and without uh, any dilatation. And these pains are shorter in duration. Homeopathic management for false labor pain. Colophylum. 
लेबर पेन शॉर्ट इेगुलर स्पास मोडिक टॉर्मेटिंग यूजलेस पेन इन द बिगनिंग ऑफ लेबर नो प्रोग्रेस मेड इट प्रोड्यूस इफिशियंट पेन जेलसीमियम फास्ट लेबर पेन पेन पासिस अप बैक रिजिडो सेंसेशन एज इफ यूट्रस वेर स्क्वीज अकम्पनिंग चिलीन एज गोइंग बैक एंड डाउन बैक सिकल कोर इेगुलर पेन टू वीक फीबल और सीजिंग एवरीथिंग सीम्स लूज एंड लूज एंड ओपन बट नो एक्सपल्सिव एक्शन इन सिकल कोर सबाइना ड्राइंग पेन इन द स्मॉल ऑफ बैक फ्रॉम सेक्रम ऑफ फ्यूबिस एक्सटेंडिंग टू था देर इज एटोनी ऑफ यूट्रस indications of cesarean section uh, cesarean section can be indicated in the, if there is falls in power uh, like in the, if there is any constriction ring or falls in passage like uh, any previous cesarean sections or any obstructions any cans like fibroids uh, vaginal atresia and falls in passenger like uh, related to the fetus there is if there is any breech presentation or uh, a baby is big baby or in cases of occipital posterior face or bro presentations hmm. sub involution of uterus uh, this is an impaired and deficient involution of uterus post like post puerperium uh, the features could be prolonged red discharge per vagina and there are, there is fever any sepsis postpartum hemorrhage pph pph means bleeding from the genital tract at the time after birth or the baby up the end of puerperium the amount of blood affecting the condition of the mother is usually 500 ml causes primary postpartum hemorrhage at the first at the third stage within 24 hour is called primary postpartum hemorrhage cause atonic or traumatic secondary pph it is due to the retention of portion of the placenta or membrane usually it may be due to cervical laceration laceration the hemorrhage may occur at any time after 24 hours of delivery signs symptoms are bleeding indication of sickle core in secondary pph are in such uh, indication of sickle core in such cases of pph uh, secondary pph there is a continuous oozing of thin faded watery black blood there is a diability diability anxiety the whole body is perverted sense of heat great heat and the patient is better by cold there may be icy coldness of extremities skin feel cold to touch yet the patient cannot tolerate covering it is useful of very lax muscular fiber everything to seems to be loose and open uh, vessels are flabby passive hemorrhage there is a copious flow of thin blood the carpal cells are destroyed the patient present a feeble cachectic appearance and is of irritable and nervous temperament in sickle core secondary pph yes. in case of secondary pph premature infant a baby is defined as premature when the baby born uh, at birth weighs less than like 2.5 kg uh, and they are born before or full like after full term immediate care and nursing of this preterm babies can be like head down position warm rest and we have to prevent any kind of infections and prevention of hemorrhage by administering vitamin k at birth asphyxia neonatorum it is a failure of establishment of sufficient pulmonary respiration at birth with result in hypoxia uh, so there is normally a well oxygenated baby cries and begins to breathe immediately or within few seconds of birth sometimes due to various factors operating in the antenatal and intrapartum periods the newborn does not breathe for some time but heart continues to be beat so this condition is called as asphyxia neonatorum homeopathic management lorasiris blue asphyxia with pulse falling there is there is a no mechanical obstruction but the child does not breathe it is lorasiris is indicated when surface stimulant does not produce a desired effect or does, uh, does uh, or affect does this or a very short time only in very small uh, very soon pulse begin to fail in such a case dose of lorasiris will change the whole scene so the child will breathe and cry in case of asphyxia neonatal carbovich there is a typical typical case in a 
pale collapsed child who is less dramatic and more pitiful it lie it lie limbs flaccid and cold its heart sound are hardly heard it is it is all but dead warm stimulation friction seems to produce no response the child lie on one round there are the indication of carbo wedge hydrocyanic acid. hydrocyanic acid marked cyanosis spasmodic constriction in larynx feel of suffocation collapse due to some pulmonary condition condition and coldness so here is a fetal circulation uh, from placenta to the fetus uh, so all the nutrition and this uh, circulate like blood supply is from through placenta to the baby and uh, the gases exchange occurs and carbon dioxide uh, is uh, like and toxins will go back to the mother for elimination rupture of uterus rupture of uterus is uh, giving away of the gravid uterus is one of the serious accidents usually occur during labor or very rarely during late pregnancy the causes for this rupture of uterus could be spontaneous or mechanical homeopathic management in shock following rupture aconite aconite is a great remedy which should be given immediately to combat shock a uh, state of fear anxiety anguish of mind will always call for it it should be it should always be given to receive the revive the patient and it meanwhile other treatment for the patient can be carried on arnica it is a great remedy for trauma over the use of any organ or strain it will take care of the shock to a very great extent and of course in meanwhile other treatment is to be carried on few clinical tips uh we want to share with you all uh pulsatiline amenorrhea uh, it is indicated for mild tearful women who give late history of late or scanty menses the patient weeps easily has changeable moods craves sympathy at changeable uh, there is lot of uh, changeability in symptoms and they are irritable jealous and suspicious weeps telling her symptoms uh, she has aversion to fat meat butter for bread and millets and desire for sore and refreshing things and pulsatilla in uh, lm potencies works wonders in case of amenorrhea pyrogenum in peperal sepsis it is excellent medicine marked by coldness and chilliness chills begin in back temperature rise rapidly there is a great heat with profuse hot sweat but sweating does not does not cause a fall in temperature the patient is full of anxiety and his restlessness tongue is red dry clean and cracked smooth as to varnished patient has terrible fetid taste and the breath is horrible horrible offensive discharge bed feels too hot aching in all limbs and bones gelsimium we can think of in prolonged second stage of labor uh, so the labor in case of gelsimium is delayed because of rigid os it has pains which pass up back the pain extend to back and hips there is sensation as if uterus is squeezed and there is chilliness which is going up and down the back phytolacon mastitis the mastitis mastitis calling for phytolacca is probably caused due to nipples which are sore and fissured breast there is a intense suffering when child is put to breast pain from nipples to all over broad body breast feel like brick lump and nodulars uh, we can also think of calcarea carbon uh, mastitis cases mastitis cases arnica after labor pain arnica is very good for uh, good for after pain and for soreness of the part after labor it prevent postpartum hemorrhage and puerperal com complication sabadiline pseudocystis hmm. sabadiline pseudocystis a patient has illusion that patient is pregnant when the abdomen is merely distended with flatus and lilium thick we can think of an atonic condition of uterus there is bearing down sensation with urgent desire for stool profound dep depression of spirits there is frequent urging for urine and in asafoetida there is indeficient lactation uh, deficient milk with over sensitiveness a uh, mammy is turgid with milk in non pregnant 
Simsifuga and habitual abortion. Simsifuga. It has abortion at the third month. During early pregnancy, there is a nausea and sleeplessness sharpened across abdomen, leading to abortion in the third month. Those women who has given birth to still stillborn babies, we can think of Simsifuga. Kali Kaab in Begek after parturition. Kali Kaab is a great great drug as it indicated for back which is which is accompanied by sweat and weakness after labor this is a difficult in walking and while walking the patient feel as if she give up and lie down even during labor kali cup is indicated for violent backache when the patient wants back to pressed and the labor pains are insufficient in kali cup and to add on, uh, we can think of pituitrinum uh, in cases of amenorrhea and uh, like we, like uh, children uh, and girls with underdeveloped breast. And if there is hirsutism, we can think of pituitrinum. Thank you all. Thank you for joining us. And thank you, Jitesa, for giving us this opportunity. If anyone asks any question, please, they can ask now. Please do share your feedback in our group. In uh, let let's discuss failure, failure, and also in WhatsApp groups. Do we get PPT or video? Doctor Usha, Doctor Usha, only one dose of CPA one M. CPA one M अपना काम कर देगा, कोई repeat करने की जरूरत नहीं है. B B V V R R कौन है? You need only proper case taking in the PCOD cases. Uh, mental life, and we can think, we can look at the patient, their constitution, constitution, and then uh, what are the cravings, their desires, uh, any history of uh, like OC pills for uh, this uh, PCOD. All this information we will take into account, and we can prescribe in PCOD cases. We inform to sir based on it, we share the PPT. Uh, many people are asking about PPT and video. We'll discuss with sir and we'll let you know about it in group.
ओके देन थैंक यू फॉर ज्वाइनिंग अस थैंक यू सो मच